can you hear me now? Uh, it appears, let me know if and when you can hear me. Good, you can hear me. Uh, right, it appears that what's happened is, just before, well, I was doing some work upstairs uh, on the PC, making, a, um, with the aid of Professor McSkipperton, we were making another video, went downstairs for tea and came back up um, and to find that uh, the computer had gone into an update and it had only just finished at about two minutes to nine. So, yes, everything, I haven't had a chance to check everything, but it's, it, it's, yeah, it's getting to be a habit, this, with me and computers. But still, <coughs> uh, but still, we're, uh, we're back, we're up and running, it's Wednesday night, and tonight we start on another build. We did the um, Universal Carrier last week. Um... I've I've done carried on and done a bit of painting and things like that and I've put the um, tow rope on and things like that. Uh, but I still got lots of painting and things to do with it. But I'm just relaxing and sitting back on that now uh, and getting on with a new build. Uh, so let's have a look who's in and then I'll come and introduce the new build. In the meantime, tonight's tipple is. Talisker Sky. It's a single malt from the Isle of Sky. Uh, a nice, uh, a nice peaty malt. Uh, with a bit of smoke just in the background. Um, it's got a, a bit of saltiness as well, but it's really nice. Uh, right, yes. Yeah, so right, I think I'm up and running. So who's in? Uh, who's not in? Yeah, Mayhem Model Works, he was the one that was around tonight. Then I was trying to tell people that the computer wasn't playing up, so I came in as well. Candy's in. Hi, Candy. Jimmy Bond. Hi, Jimmy. Hope you have been working too hard. Uh, going on down, Gemma, De Gemma Williams. Um, yeah, it did throw me a little bit because I asked, can you see me? My logo was going round, but I didn't. And then Gemma says, they can't see you. No, she couldn't see me. So it threw me a little bit, but we're up. We're going. Uh, EC Idaho, hi there. Uh, back to Candy. Uh, down to down. Chris is in. Good evening, Chris. Uh, we get there in the end. <clears throat> uh, model making, Mayhem Model Works. We can hear you with the eyes of seeing. Good. We're getting back to it. Uh, Steve123, uh, 123. Steve13, yeah. From now on, you'll be known as Steve123. Steve131 is in. Good evening. Uh, Sarah Jane. Hi, Sarah. Uh, Mark. And continuing down. Good. So, right, we'll put our drink just to one side, not too far away, just just within hand reach. Uh, and then I'll just see if I can reach over here and uh, get the new build. Yes, good. Uh, right, this is the German Landwasser. I shall be expert in speaking German by the end of this build because this is the German Landwasser Schlepper early type. Now, then, I just have a quick Google. I had a quick Google before I came upstairs while I was having my tea, and Google tells me that the Landwasser Schlepper was an unarmed amphibious tractor produced in Germany during World War II. This is the early type. Um, the uh, According to Mr. Google, there was two types. Um, the later type came on with, a, I think it had a raised uh, steering position with a lot more flat deck on this. And it also had uh, foldable funnels. But here we're building the early type. So I've never built one of these before. I think they are quite an amusing sort of different subject to build on um, and I think it's gonna leave itself to a uh, cat seat for the glare of the, the the glare of the spotlights um, so I think it's gonna lend itself to all sorts of weathering and things like that 
particularly when we yeah when we get to the end and we build it it doesn't have this rope around uh, the the hull as a fender so I'm gonna have to saw something because I, I think I really want to put that on um, it, it doesn't have the German Shepherd boo boo it doesn't have the German Shepherd nor does it have any crew but um, we'll see what we can do now these were part of um, the tank regiments uh, they weren't Navy they were allocated to tank divisions uh, so I thought they were originally Deutsche Kriegmarine but um, they were in fact um, uh, a tank regiment so these would probably looking at the uniforms uh, would be army and not navy but never mind right here we got the let's have a look in the box yeah EC Ado no puppies in this one no puppies were harmed in the making of this kit <coughs> ah, right uh, let's close Google down and uh, right yeah I'm sorry I was just trying to adjust some of the settings on this camera right here we go let's have a look in the box uh, yeah the usual I've uh, hobby boss <coughs> excuse me I've built some hobby boss figures before um, hobby boss were um, no, Hobby Boss is also, I think, AFV Club. Um, <clears throat> so they're probably the sort of same type of uh, build as that. Um, when you get Hobby Boss figures, um, you or when you buy an AFV Club, it sometimes got labelled as Hobby Boss and the figures inside, inside it are maybe um, actually manufactured by Hobby Boss. Excuse me, I'll just turn the microphone off a minute. I've got a cough. There we have coughed. Right, um, so right, let's have a look in the box. A uh, typical um, multi sheets, uh, turning of the pages. It does, yeah. It's certainly got all these sort of um, sort of hallmarks of AFE Club. Uh, you remember, you might remember last week when I showed you the um, uh, Matador. That was a AFE Club, and the the plans for that are very much similar to this. Um, it doesn't have seem to have too many stages in. Uh, Ost Ostrich 9000 says Hobby Boss and Trumpeter are basically two halves of the same company. So they are. Uh, Hobby Boss, Trumpeter, AFC, uh, AFV. Uh, but yeah, going back to this, uh, there's only a couple of sprues. And the usual uh, sort of pictures it does look this to be the same sort of drawings as uh, AFV and the build process doesn't look too complicated at all so we'll have a look at how it goes right let's get that out of the way uh, there's a paint call out uh, two types of paint grey or grey and black um, there appears to be just one decal that's that or, or two of them on there but I think this I think this vehicle would look fantastic with a shark mouth now then I haven't got any shark mouth decals but I'll try and source some so if anybody out there has got any shark mouth decals that they might think might fit this let, let us know and uh, we'll see what I've arranged what we come to uh, right so that's that uh, all right I'll try and catch catch up back and chat uh, two types of syrup the early and the not so early are very good I see what you did there uh, Steve 131 uh, Mark so <coughs> yeah so hobby boss used a bit of artistic license leads people to assume there could be a crew and a dog until a close yeah I was rather disappointed when when there was no dog yeah but but never mind we'll we'll live yeah now i i understand that that dog was called a german shepherd until the war 
and then it was called an Alsatian. Is that right? Uh, Athol's in. Good evening to you. Uh, Kieran Keith. Good evening, Kieran, as well. Uh, uh, Sarah Jane calls it a hobbiter. Uh, could be. Yeah, could be too. Uh, so, right, let's have a look at some of the kit. Right, so we've done them. We've done them. We've got the box. And... Yeah, once again, nicely packed sprues. There's my receipt from E models. Yeah, as I say, this was sent to me from E models as a gift. It was a birthday present. Um, Fox, I don't think I don't know if Fox is in yet, but he was asked by Pete to choose something and give me, it, and he, he denies all knowledge. But there we go. Uh, yeah, so a couple of nice sprues. Yep, yeah, it's, yep, yeah, nothing, uh, no, there doesn't appear to be any excess flash or anything like that, but we'll find out when we start, start cutting things off. Um, a small bag of string and photo etch. See, I knew this was an AFV club type thing and a trumpeter because it has even tiny detailed bits of photo etch in it so so there where there we go <coughs> uh, fox probably forgot you did yes fox doesn't seem to be able to remember what happened yesterday never mind last year over last year ah right uh, right the next bit the the big bits let's have a look uh, don't want to lose that don't lose that the big bits the hull. There we are. Uh, yes, as you can see, the hull, according to Google, the hull was based on a launch. So we can see there. Uh, it also had twin propellers and twin rudders in tunnels at the back of the boat. That gives it good speed and uh, uh, directional travel. Uh, and then it was put on tank tracks. I believe that the Mark II was use, uh, used the Panzer IV wheel, uh, wheel train, uh, tank train, whatever. Um, but the early version, um, there wasn't that many of them actually built, apparently. Um, but they were due to be, uh, they were thought that they were going to use them for Operation Sea Lion, uh, the invasion of, of Britain. And they would tow um, unpowered um uh sort of unpowered launches across the channel and help with recovering vehicles from the beach so that's what they are uh, the next bit is uh let's open this let's open this if i can reach over and get the scissors uh, it is looking quite a good kit so far uh steve um um i I would guess it's one of those kits that if you're looking along the shelves in the shop, if you go in a hobby shop, or even if you're browsing on the eModels website, it's probably one of these kits that you just dismiss because you're you're looking for a, a tank or something like that. If you, it's uh, repeat. There's the, the deck, and that goes in there somehow, I haven't quite worked that out yet, I'm not sure if they oh, they could be locating pins, yes, some locating pins on here, so got to be careful, don't knock any of them off. <coughs> yeah, Sarah Jane, safety scissors, blunt. Yep. Remember the plastic safety scissors you used to get at play school and nursery that that were even worse than these. These actually are, these came out of a first aid kit. They were at one time fairly sharp. But they're just general go to scissors and they are not very good at all. So yeah, there's locating pins to go on the front. Uh, 
and um, we'll build all the we'll build all the internals. There's a little bit of an uh, <laughs> that's a big ejector pin mark in the middle of the deck. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, there's a funnel to go on there. So that that's what. I, I, yeah, I pre-read the instructions. There's a funnel. <clears throat> They're the same as the hospital ones. Yep. Uh, Mark, Mark has been across to Google. Uh, yep, 21 miles per hour uh, on the road, seven and a half miles per hour in the water. Not exactly a speed, but no, I can't see this getting up on the plane. I'm producing. I can't. I can't see the crew taking it out for a spin and a, a spot of water skiing between invasions. But but yeah, but you get the idea. But that good does go on there somewhere like that. Now the next bit is the cabin. Once again, we'll try and cut this open, and then we'll just give up and rip it off. No water skin. No, no water skin. So that then goes on there like that. And it goes on there like that, and it does resemble a type of, I can't remember, I don't know types of launches and things like that, but it looks, it could look to be a bit of a canal boat type thing, doesn't it? It has that look about it. It's quite, yeah, it's quite a cool looking thing. So that's that. Uh, so there's a funnel there, and I believe there's a couple of funnels in there, and the rest of it uh, for carrying crew and passengers. I think it carried 21 people, so that's quite a payload. And uh, the rest of it, rubber band tracks, not a great problem. I don't have an issue with rubber band tracks, and these do seem quite substantial tracks actually. They're quite thick, quite meaty, uh, flexible too. Uh, I know that when you get some rubber band tracks, uh, the uh, they sort of become very flimsy, and sort of you need you just need to bend them a couple of times and they and they separate. But I think these are going to be all right. Yeah, I, I don't intend to use anything else. I, um, I I don't even know if there's any metal tracks available for this. Um, uh, not that I've looked, but. Uh, I think I think we can get a quite a nice uh, finish with them. Or oh, some clear bits, clear bits. They just look yeah the duplicates of each other. So port and starboard, I would think. So they're for them. And I did notice in here as well that I I've never used before. Where is it? Uh, there are these are apparently actually canopy stickers. Uh, so that you can uh, sorry, not canopy stickers, masking for the canopy. So I've yet to find out where they're gonna go, but we'll work that out. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. Good night. Good night. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll 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 keep going. I'll keep going. Alright. So, shall we make a start then? I think tonight just going to be a bit of cutting and a bit of cleaning and a bit of gluing and a bit of a chat. Um, <coughs> and a, yeah, a bit of a chat and we'll see where we get to. But yeah, we'll take it nice and easy. We won't rush our, um, our build this week. Um, not like Chris was doing with his being blade on Sunday. Uh, when it was just, uh, I think it was trying to finish it all in one sitting. Ah, right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, model, uh, Mayhem Model Works. I never had a thought on a semi subversal vehicle before. Uh, he's coloured in by the shades of interest. Yeah, I think it's going to be quite nice. It would really be nice to do it in this sort of a diorama. Uh, where we could do a, a beach scene and a dog which we don't get 
uh, you could do a nice beach scene run across the beach a little bit of um, epoxy to make all this splash, splishy splashy and a dog which you don't get and uh, have it running along the beach yeah take take your dog for a walk on the beach which you, which you don't get yeah we're, yeah having a having a run along having a run along the beach scenically yeah with a dog that you don't get uh, as per usual with modern kits no figures and no cream I might have a I might have a hunt round I'll have a look on the e-model site and see if I can find a dog that you don't get <laughs> right so I suppose we think what we're going to need first is some instructions now I put them down here somewhere and I can't reach them Ow. Mm. so I'll put the scissors away before I cut myself German's last washer land washer schlepper early type right easy to begin we want that bit it's back in stock at e-model says ostrich 9000 yes it's black friday to, uh, on friday okay go get one and i won't do too much on it this week but go and get one and then next week you can come along and join in the build well yeah we'll have a buddy build type thing yeah go, go get one you can't go wrong uh, yeah so we need that and this will get this bit out of the way. I think Timmy would do a dog. I must, I must look it up. Yeah. I, 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 I think they do. I think Timmy it does actually do a dog. I think uh, I've seen a, a German Shepherd in a Timmy range somewhere. Uh, yeah. Right. So then. I haven't a clue what any of these parts are, but we'll we'll get on and build them. But first of all, we're going to need that upside down, and then we're going to need that's called a lower hull, by the way. Yeah, lower hull, upper hull deck. Uh, Graham at Roberts uh, have been swearing at his snowberry kit. That's not it's no good. It's just swearing at it. Get on. Don't let it beat you. Get it. Yeah, go and get. It. I just put the scissors away, I need them again. Hang on. Oh, scissors. Right, after I did that little impromptu show, um, I think it was on Sunday, um, I did that little impromptu show to do a bit of a test on the um, stream and things like that and lighting and, and such. Um, uh, Fox and I afterwards um, we went and tweaked a few things so just keep an eye on the stream tonight and let me know how it goes whether it um, whether it sort of sticks or or um, what they call buffers if it starts buffering let me know uh, whether or not we've solved it we turned a few things off we turned a few things on um, we adjusted one or two things so hopefully it's lighter it's brighter and especially now I've done, um, especially now it's just done an update, which which nearly made me late for the stream. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, uh, Sarah Jane, it doesn't have a beach ball either. No, oh, I think I think if I was crew on this, yeah, I yeah, I have a beach ball, fishing rod. Yeah. Uh, I'm just taking the Landwasser Schlapper, the, the, uh, the Landwasser Schlapper, I'm just taking it round the corner, uh, do some fishing. So we can find some bits, so we want A33. Um, and as we want A33, I've got the sprues out for B. So there's A33. Put this open again. We 
we start cutting it and then we just rip it up. Tamir says that uh, Tamir do uh, ostrich says Tamir do a German military police set which does have a dog. Yes, I'll have a look at that. Because, yeah, I might put the, might put the police crew. Uh, I might put the the policeman on here as crew. Could do that. Right. So we now have Sprue A. Good evening, Twisted Rail Hobbies. Good evening to you. You're welcome. Welcome to my Wednesday night live stream. When tonight, after we did get started, after tonight we will be we are building the Landwasser Schlepper. Rubbish. We we'll dump it on the floor for now and tidy up after. You always we always say that. I'll just dump that there and then I'll tidy it up when I've finished. And it's still there when you come back. Yeah. Don't know, yeah, that's it. it. It never gets tied, does it? So now we want A33. Uh, nicely numbered, all in numerical order. Not like some kits that you get, that we get one up here, five, three, six, twenty-one, eight. Sure, we need thirty-three. That one. Now I need to reach, put the scissors away. Uh, there's, a, there's also a, a whole horse with a German soldier on the back. Yep, yeah, not half a horse. Yeah, like Tony, yeah, or, or Trigger. Uh, not Trigger, Araldite. Um, if you ever, well, I must re recall the the uh, story of Araldite, the horse, to you from Tony, the other e model builder. Oh, I just dropped it. Where's that go? Right there is. <coughs> Ted, what about building it as a canal with flower pots and sun lounges on the upper deck and some bird at the front? Probably. S oh, oh yeah, you mean a seagull? Uh, yes. <coughs> It could. I, get, I'll build one as a German Landwasser Schlepper and then build the next one as a canal boat. Yeah. Uh, Ted, when I start wearing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ted, when I, start, uh, when I start swearing, that means stop and chill, which you're doing with a beer. Yes, I've got a whiskey. I'm at the bench, I'm chilling. It's Wednesday night. Mrs. Ted allows me to have a drink on a Wednesday night. Because I don't usually drink in the rest of the week. I, I, I really don't. It's when I come along with you lot. And I can have a drink. And enjoy myself. Relax. Do some building. Talk to you lot. Interact is the. I think interact is the word. Right. So now I want. B26. Hang on. Once we get building and we get some of these sprues out of the way. B26. This is B23, 24, 26. That one. I dropped that as well. Oh, there we go. Not really much clear. The first two parts cut off. Yes, it's a, a special part of the build when we cut the first parts from the sprue. And cutting the first two parts off the sprue doesn't need any cleaning up. Oh, the sprue gets quite good. Oh, neat. Hmm. Right then, just got to work out which way around this goes because it can go that way. Dropsy. 
Butch that model. Good evening. Hi there. Yeah, we're not doing the Universal Carry anymore. That's in the past. I've eventually finished it. I know you got yours finished in about a week, but yeah, we didn't. Um, just try to work out which way around this goes. Can only go one of two ways. Ah, that's it, that way. There it goes. And now I've got to get the glue, which is over there. So if I knock the camera, hang on. You wouldn't think I'd worked out what I was going to do tonight and plan to come along and do a build and things like that. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Graham says, uh, every time it goes near a boat it gets shivers. Uh, I just can't be another part breaking and it's cut from the sprue. Uh, yeah, don't let it beat you. You'll be... Um, when you get it built and you look back, you won't remember them bits. You'll just remember building it. It's... It's like um, when I'm doing a build, and especially if I f you know, I'm filming it, and I'll get to the stage where I'm really, I'm really on a low because the build isn't going right, or it's just a piece of monotony, uh, building tracks or something. Uh, the Panzer IV, yeah, uh, Panzer IV, building tracks. The tracks just became monotonous. And you'd think it's finished. Would I build it again? No, I probably wouldn't build it again because it's just because the parts of it. Uh, it's um, it's difficult to explain that when when you build when when you build your model, you just tend to forget the bad bits once it's finished. But you then, sometimes you, you get a flashback of the awful bits and you think, would I build it again? No, I wouldn't. I'm a bit like that. I think that once I've built a model, I don't want to build it again. I've, I've done it. I just want to move on. Uh, <coughs> yeah, my, my model, but, uh, yeah, I keep dropping bits. Uh, it says uh, Mayhem Model Works here, yeah, feeding the capital ones. Fortunately, they haven't bounced off the bench yet. The good, uh, one good thing about this, no, um, I should say one bad thing about this, the parts are the same colour as the carpet. I've just realised that. Yeah, if I drop any tiny bits, they're just going to be lost forever. Uh, right, with junk work, good evening to you. Uh, Grey ma'am. Athol. Ted, have you forgotten my spectacles are on the top of my head again and not on yours? No, I I would I couldn't do that because if I take my glasses off, I'm totally blind. Well, not well, not totally blind, but everything goes out of focus. I can't see. So right, we've got to do this again now, and I've forgot these bits. So let's put these away a minute because I've used that. I think. A twenty thirty two and B twenty six. B twenty six. B twenty six. There it is. Oh yeah, I take back what I said before. This goes twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty eight, 
23. Yeah. yeah. I'll try not to drop it this time. <coughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Do you guys? Do, does anybody else do it? Start of a build, you take the pieces out of the plastic bag, you cut a piece off, and then it goes back in the plastic bag. Day two of the build, it comes out of the bag, the bag gets thrown away. You never, it, you, you don't bother doing it again. You always think, I'll keep them in the bag, then if any bits fall off, I'll know where they're at. They're trapped in the bottom of the bag. But, yeah, after the first couple of days, you just forget about it, really. So, A. A32. There we go. There it is. Alright. <coughs> Yep, all right. The grey member says, thanks for your inspiration. I'm sure I do the schnellboat will be not be a priority in the future. Is, is that the reveal schnellboat? I, I think I saw pictures of your uh, build on the, on uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, Candy says in Texas we had a tornado warning but thankfully not much damage oh right yeah and I think it's windy when I'm sat up here in the workshop I can hear the wind howling across the roof uh, I thought it's cold old age and so and too much alcohol yes let's have a uh, alcohol uh, Ted what is uh, wait for the camper monster yes I yeah I'm bound to drop a bit halfway through filming a bit that I need and I, it'll go in the carpet and I'll, I'll have to take the camera down to the carpet while whilst I'm searching for it because I'll never find it uh, and what is a whiskey tonight which yes it's Talisker Sky uh, a nice little um, single malt from the Isle of Sky and it's going down well tonight a really gorgeous peaty aroma and a taste of a mild a mild saltiness but it does have a it does have a bit of a um a peaty kick to it yeah it's really quite quaffable uh now i'm just going to work out which way they round the, these go again there we are got it right this time we, we had a practice on the last one. <clears throat> uh, Dave says what I should do is yeah, get my apron and stick it to the bottom of the bench and then bits, when bits fall off. Yeah, but they don't. You pick your tweezers up and you're ever so, you're ever so gently putting a piece on with your tweezers and you press too hard between for the tweezers to go ping and it misses you yeah. and then you stand up and you pull everything off because your apron's still fastened to the bench okay. and I did I glue that or not I'll glue it again it is yeah right Yep, it's the it, uh, the Ravel Chanel boat. Nice boats are Chanel boat. I once built a um, an MTB. Uh, it was radio controlled. Uh, it was one thirty fifth scale. Unfortunately, I, I don't have it now. Uh, but it was built out of balsa. Um, oh, it was built for a from a plan that I bought. I I I always fancied building an MTB um, as you know from Coastal Command 
and it's a gorgeous little ball and it's really easy to build because they're um i can't think of the name of the the type of hull uh, the 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 hull is built very similar to this um if if they had the hard, hard chine hull that was it so the chines came down of an angle then there was another angle and it formed the keel so there was two triangle there was two pieces that formed a keel like that and then the hard chine that formed um, the the sides of the boat um, and it was a really easy build um, but it was scratch obviously there again it was uh, scratch built uh, including the torpedo tubes which have got some uh, a very fine veneer and I've got a tube of the right size um, of a torpedo and formed the veneer around um, I think it was like a cigar tube formed it around the cigar tube and then glued it uh, with um, uh, super glue um, however because wood and super glue really does work well together it also works well for wood to your fingers so I ended up with a torpedo tube glued to my thumb which wasn't really you know it wasn't anything I could overcome it just so happened that I was on night shift at work um, and yeah when you're on night shift at work and you've glued a torpedo tube to your thumb um, you're wondering how you're going to get it off without too much pain before the boss turned up so yeah so that that was yeah that was part of building the 135 5th scale MTB but it was a beautiful boat um, and as I say it went like bat out of hell because um, it was radio controlled I used to take it to the park lake um, and, and sail it on a Sunday morning and unfortunately being camouflaged it was painted of a, of a, a bluish grey um, with a, a bit of a, a camouflage sort of scheme across it I think it was blue grey and a darker grey uh, unfortunately because it was going so fast you often lost sight of it and you'd only you'd only find it again when it hits something else or somebody else's boat so yeah that yeah if you do if you're building a be uh, an mtb or a chanel boat build it carefully sail it carefully they cause a lot of damage yeah and i thought says when mtb is built out of wood which uh, hacked off the jerrys as they could dodge mice they were um they were uh, i can't think if ospers built them and yes they were built out of wood um very uh, they, yeah, they, they they were quite easy to damage, but then again, because they were built out of wood, often a, a shot would pass straight through them. Uh, but uh, yeah, they were really effective. Uh, I think, if I'm rightly, uh, you maybe to tell me weren't um, weren't the Schnell boats built out of wood as well? I think they were. But anyway. Uh, bare feet works wonders in finding plastic parts not necessarily the part you want but probably a lost part 10 years ago yeah a number of times yeah I come up here in my bare feet or my socks and find something because yeah, this place is a tip I keep meaning to bring the hoover up and hoover around clean up but, but yeah, it doesn't happen uh, right oh, what do we do now we need to build eight of them. Great mirrors, don't do bare feet. No, don't do bare feet. I, I'm quite, yeah, sorry, I'm quite into this tonight. Uh, let's find uh, parts B24 and B18. So that's the air sprue. Uh, 
you don't need that for now. <laughs> Sarah, you're missing a painful trick there. Yeah, find all those parts. Just before you hoover up, walk around your workshop in bare feet. Yeah, it looks like yeah, this update hasn't fixed my focus before B4 B18 B4 2 3 4 right all of them so we can cut all of these off this is one of those parts this is tank building we, we've, we've now passed on from the boat building and we're now tank building because we're going to do lots and lots of repetitive parts for suspension and wheels. B, B18. B18, where are you at? Yeah, often talking to your parts makes them stand out easier. B18, there they go. So really, this is a um, live stream when you're going to get two for the price of one. You're going to get boat building and tank building. I won't charge you any more. Yeah, uh, I'll do it on the same rate as the rest of the time. Because you're friends. Right, that way. Now we've got to work out which way up it goes, so that's that way, that's that way, and there is a bit of cleaning up to do. Sure. Sanding stick. So now we can turn into fox and we can just denub for our, for a, an hour. That looks all right there. Could really be sneaky and take some of the seam line off here. But in all uh, cases, I don't think it's really going to be that noticeable. Yeah, that's that one. <coughs> Noobs. Um, I thought MTBs and minesweepers were built from wood. Obviously, yes, they were. And, um, Minor countermeasure vessels are, well, they were built from wood. The Tun class, I think, were the last wooden wall ships of the Royal Navy. Um, that's the one that Prince Charles was captain of. Um, they were the Tun class minesweepers, wooden walls. And after that, uh, the mine countermeasure vessels, they stopped calling them minesweepers. Um, they were mine countermeasure vessels. Uh, became fiberglass uh, for that very reason um, they were um, ships are allergic to mines so one of the ways that they, uh, they solved that was by building them out of fiberglass uh, uh, but the bigger boats had degaussing rings uh, as the engine rooms were sensitive to mines yes um, HMS Invincible I actually worked on the degaussing cables on HMS Invincible uh, there were it was a huge um, ring of cable that went round the ship right round the ship uh, it was about that big uh, they just run used to run 
um, electric circuit through it, which made uh, the it which demagnetized the hull. Uh, but yeah, that was a degaussing system. Uh, Yeah, Athol's, yeah, he's found the hard way of finding lost bits from um, Chaos Marines. Ostrich, ostrich broke his toe in the swimming pool. It, was, it wasn't as deep as he thought. Breaking a toe isn't as bad as diving in and finding out it's shallower than you thought it was. Everybody's talking now about foot injuries and standing on things. <coughs> uh, Sarah Jane says her, her, her ex brother in law served on HMS Rill. Uh, yeah, right, which was uh, a minesweeper, evidently. Rill, yeah. Um, I not, can't remember the name, but real but um, yeah <clears throat> that was a vessel Prince Charles smashed into a dock when coming alongside I felt all right Charlie get yeah, yeah, good <clears throat> good evening Fox welcome yes where have you been yep you should have been here lots earlier. You should have been here at the start when it was all panic stations because my computer decided to go into an update at about six o'clock. I just finished about two minutes to stream time. And then because it had an update, there was no sound. Well, we fixed that. So here we are. Yes, we're enjoying the build of the new Landwasser Schlepper. Landwasser Schlepper. And tonight, well, yes, you've just joined us. If, you, if anybody out there has just joined us, we're now at the tank building stage. Uh, yep. <coughs> I, yeah, I, right, um, Have I missed out on the tenderness? Yes, you have missed. You you can stay behind um, after the show's finished to catch up and take your homework. Uh, he did tell me about switching off the update at the start of the day. Yes, that's because... Um, I'm not saying that's because, but I was up here... I've been up here all afternoon doing some... Um, Content building for YouTube with Professor McSkipperton. He's been he's been up here today with me as well, and everything was running fine. And then I went for my tea at six o'clock, came back, and the screen was blue, and it was doing an update, and it was doing an update, and it was doing an update, until eventually, I was just googling how to stop updates when it finally completed the update at two minutes to go but we're here we're running everybody's happy i've got the whiskey and how does the stream I hadn't forgot to turn Windows updates off because we'd cancelled them for seven days uh, when you were with me on Sunday. So we still should have a few days left. I don't know.
<coughs> oh, shipbuilding. Graham M. Sarah Jane. I'm pretty sure HMS Rill was built on built at Portsmouth. Uh, I worked on the same type of fiberglass minesweeper at Yarrow. Yeah, they were built up and down the country. There was quite a few of them. Um, as I say, there was the original ton class. They were all uh, Middleton. I think that was Charles's, wasn't it? Middleton. And they all all the names ended in ton, uh, uh, hence ton class. Uh, but later on, when they became fiberglass, they obviously they were a different type of boat then. Because uh, the, I think HMS Walney is one of them as well. That's the. Uh, mine countermeasures vessel that's twinned uh, with with the town where I live because Walney how big is this puppy 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 yes that <coughs> do, do you not remember I was just re recounting to them all before do you not remember last year when um Pete found out that it was my birthday and he asked you to choose a gift to for them to send to me and this is what you chose because it was a, a tank boat so th this is this is the big puppy this is a big puppy that you don't get a puppy with There. there isn't that isn't that a big puppy that looks like a pleasure boat yes I was saying how it looks like a pleasure boat from the canal or something that you'd see on Windermere but that's yeah <clears throat> but yeah it's it's good it's gonna it's gonna have lots of opportunities for weathering I say I'm going to put a rope. I'm going to find some hemp rope and put some hemp rope around it as a fender, and then I will also explore um, the Tamiya. I will explore the Tamiya range on e models uh, because I want a puppy. A puppy. Pup, woof, woof, woof. German Alsatian. And I believe the guys have already looked. They say there's a German. Uh, military police set with a puppy. So it's got to have a puppy. <laughs> yep. Uh, right, so so that's how big the puppy the, that's how big it is. So right, on on with track things. So I've got to make eight of them. So that's four <clears throat> and B28, 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 nothing on there looks like B28, B28 times four. Six twenty seven. Twenty are oh, there they are the yeah. Sometimes when you see them on the book and then you look at the sprue, they don't look anything like it. One. These are the tiny bits that I will probably lose on the floor. Because they're round and they'll roll off the bench. Type 21s were also built in Yarrow. The most well known would be HMS Antelope, which is sunk in them. They were a gorgeous ship. I just loved the shape of the Type 21. Uh, the, uh, um, were they the Amazon class? Uh, yeah, they, they were so sleek. With that um, single funnel. Right. 
that would appear to go on there like that. Look at this. Look at this. Looks like it's got a million wheels. Yeah. It's it's a part. Um, I said before, as I said before, when you weren't here, um, you're actually getting two live streams for the price of one here with me tonight at this time because you're getting a tank. How do you get the boat? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and there are no opportunities for lighting this one because there isn't. Uh, so I won't be lighting it up. You could, I suppose, if you were really technically minded, you could radio control it and just make it a sailing boat. Because um, because you can get some really tiny um, radio control gear now. And I think there would be lots of room inside here. Yeah, it's, I don't know if Type 21s could perhaps stop in their own length. Maybe they could. Uh, so now what do we do? It's, we've got to remember it's upside down and we nearly put these things on. So we have put these things on the wrong side. Yep, so we've glued them on the wrong side, but not to matter, not to worry, because we've got lots more of them. Uh, see the suspension is quite good because you can't get it the wrong way around you can't get it upside down because the locating pins are different sizes so it will only go one way around HBS Coventry, yes, another uh, victim of the Falcons War, as was HMS Sheffield, built here in Barrow. Uh, that was, it was discovered then that there was a design flaw uh, because of HMS Sheffield's upper works were all built of aluminium. Um, on which when on fire it just burns so it's the unfortunate unfortunate way to find out what I have to do is make sure that these uh, suspension springs are actually straight because I just noticed there is a little bit of uh, play in them So we want to make sure they're all nice and straight now because it may lead to problems later on. <coughs> Tank boot, yes. It's the tank boot waiting for you in the tank boot.
So now I think we can go and glue the right bits on the right side. Um, there, these. I will then I will now attempt to cut four more off without losing any of them. Oops, dropped them. A water tank boat. Yeah. I need to get some of those. Um, I've lost one. Where did it go? There it is. I need to get some of those uh, diorama sort of sets from E models. You know, the German jerry cans and uh, maybe some other bits of paraphernalia because. It would look so right on the back of this. Some deck cargo. And more weathering. Oh, I've lost it again. Oh no, I've lost one. Lost it. Lost it. Right, nobody move. And if everybody could just take a slow step back, because I've lost a bit. Where did it go? I don't think he's got on the floor. It's on the bench somewhere. Can you, can you see it? Fox has got a puppet. I, I do say that one thing this should have, Fox, you could probably see it yourself. I think this should have a shark mouth. It's it's made for a shark mouth. So I've just got to source a shark mouth decal. <sighs> no, I've lost it. It's gone. It won't be far away. I don't think it went on the floor. If it went on the floor, it's lost forever. Oh. There it is. Found it. It was over there. See, we're not even into the first day of the build and we're losing bits. Good job I found it because I wouldn't like to have to make one of these again. And there's a nub on there. Gone. <clears throat> Good, that's that bit. Now we can go on and make these bits. <clears throat> Enough base space for a shark mouth. Approved. Shark mouth. Yeah, very look brilliant. <clears throat> shark mouth. And there's lots of rivets as well, which is really going to be good for uh, weathering and sort of doing uh, washes and things. So we'll flip it over and we'll do this side. How are we doing for time? So how's the stream holding up? Nobody's got fed up with everything buffering and things like that. So. <coughs> Uh, let's have a look. <clears throat> uh, Graham, Amazon, yes, he was fortunate to work on them. Amazon class, Amazon, Amethy Amethyst, Antelope and Active. I thought there was only two. Uh, I thought there was only two. and we, or Did we build them all and then sell them? 
I can't remember because I know that was about the time we were selling the Navy. Um, <clears throat> Christmas number one. Yes, Fox's rendition of a tank boat. Battle Axe was 23, built in Yarrow. The other was Brave, Brilliant and Broadsword. Yes, wasn't it Broadsword that was on, um, it was a TV star? Uh, didn't they make Warship on it or something? Uh, a TV documentary. Dreams or cases, Sarah? Thank you. Uh, why are here's one thing? Why are models of the same, or why are all model kits different colours of plastic? Why do they not stick to one colour? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that question has popped up in my head at some time as well. I used to think it was sort of if you were building something from the desert. They would paint it this colour anyway, and then if you couldn't be bothered painting it, it was sand coloured anyway. Um, but I don't really know, because this was um, something to do with tanks and water. So I don't really know. Maybe it's just a runner plastic head. Hello, it's uh, Tamiya here. Have you got um, a wagon load of plastic for sale, please? Yeah, but, but, but we've only got it in yellow. Hi, that'll do. So maybe that's that's the reason. Oh, I do. I've totally lost track here because I need some more bits, and I need them bits. Got all these off again. And do a repeat of what we did on the other side. We haven't done Billy and Bench. Um, we yeah, it's it's obligatory that each of us uh, doing a live stream has to do a Billy and Bench. So what's on your Billy, and what's on your Bench? For me tonight, it was a full English. I know that you usually have full English in the morning for breakfast, but we often have it for tea. So it was sausage, bacon, um, beans, hash browns, black pudding, and brown sauce. Because you have to have brown sauce on a full English. And on the bench is the Landfasher Schlepper. <laughs> Trade secret. Tamiya execs in Japan speak with a Barrow accent. Yeah, they do. Oh, drop tea. Hello, Ted, Ted from Tamiya. Uh, can, I have a, can I have a van load of plastic, please? Yeah, can you, can you deliver it Monday round back? Bench, look, bench says Sarah, lost count what's on it. Billy, me sixth Malibu, bro, good lass. Yes, uh, slangy that. Yeah, bench ICM SDKZ247 Osh B. Uh, yep. Oh, that one from ICM. Belly Chicken. Uh, chicken pad thai. Oh, you had a, you have, you have a, did you send out? Was it a takeaway? Um, uh, ostrich uh, says bench plastic and stuff. Yeah, plastic. Yeah, Billy tuna pasta thing with garlic bread. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Ga garlic bread. 
Uh -huh. uh, Sarah's got a good idea. A dark plastic. She sprays. Uh, the, she sprays the prunes in uh, pr sprues in primer and uh, grey to help see them. Uh, it's a good idea. Yeah, I do know that people say you shouldn't spray on the sprue, but sometimes I do, especially if um, I'm building. Uh, especially if I'm at, the, I'm at the spray booth. I've just spray, uh, primed some parts and I've still got a load of primer left in the cup. So what I'll do, I'll just spray some of the sprues. Uh, some, of the, um, some of the sprues that I'm going to probably be using next in, in the build. It just uses up primer. It doesn't matter because you're going to cut the pieces off anyway and clean them up. And that's what primer is. Uh, primer is a way of showing you where uh, and the mould lines are, so you're going to clean it off anyway, so what's the problem? Uh, and Athol says Billy was pulled pork and creamy mash and uh, bench terminators of the Royal Ravens. Yeah, oh, it's that Warhammer thing. Uh, uh, found the part that went flying. Good, said so Graham. Get on with it then. Uh, Billy says model way, uh, Mayhem model works. Homemade chili, kidney beans, chopped tomatoes, chopped peppers, chopped corsets, minced chili powder, hot. As long grain rice, bench, ha, ah, whatever. Who cares? After that, after that chili, yeah, you, yeah, just, just come along for a chill. Uh, Steve says Billy chicken tikka pasty. Or was that from, was that from Griggs? Chicken tikka pasty. That's good. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. Uh, Andy, Sarah says it sounds nice. Model make it. Well, Accrington Stanley. Hey, uh, who are they? Exactly. Uh, Sarah Jane, Malibu is the future. Yeah, Malibu, isn't that coconuts? I think I used to drink it many, many years ago when it came out. Many, many years ago, that was it. I think it was the drink of the time. It was, I think it was new out at the time. And you were considered posh if you drank Mal Malibu. Isn't that the white bottle with the palm trees on it? If it's the same thing I'm thinking of. <clears throat> the fu if the future is falling down yeah Sarah yeah it's Monday it, it's not no it's not Monday it's Wednesday halfway through the, halfway through the week and halfway through the week we're due a little drink Uh, Graham and Robert is belly back to the bench with a one seventy second snowberry. Uh, Graham a belly jacket potatoes with bacon bits accompanied by chicken goujons and baby peas. Oh yeah, healthy. I, I, however, I don't do jacket potatoes. No, um, I'm not a big fan of jacket potatoes. I just can't see the point. Why not just have the filling? Do you have to have the potatoes to go with it? Uh, yeah, I'm, as you see, I'm I'm gluing and chatting at the same time. Sarah's now officially hungry. Yes, well, I would think that after a few Malibus, you tend to get hungry, don't you? Um, it'll be, I think, yeah, it's it's only half past ten. I think you've still got time for a carry out, a delivery. Yeah, the yeah that's that's one thing that came out of lockdown everybody's doing delivery now so you don't even have to get out of your chair to go and order food they'll just bring it to you steve said it is griggs yep chicken tea capacity griggs 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 with a foot long sausage roll yep for lunch that's, that's all you ever see um, 
contractors on building sites now eating Greg's foot long sausage rolls. Time to put the bins out. It's bin day tomorrow. Are you on the same round as me? Because I've just put my bins out. It's um, it's recycling this week, so it's all the bins, all the bins to go out tonight. Um, yeah, I put them out before I came up, so I didn't have to go down all the way downstairs again from the loft. Once again. If you're doing this, just check that your suspension is on nice and straight. That one's a little bit cockeyed. Yeah, just check your suspension's nice and straight as you go along and it will avoid problems in the future. caught me out there see that was a test that was a test for you lot just to point out that it's on upside down and so we see that Fox is actually building a military vehicle without it being Warhammer from ICM so we will expect in due course a vehicle in German grey uh, right <coughs> let's go back to the chat let's see what people have been chatting away whilst I've been building uh, let's see if I can find where we're up to Uh, model making mayhem model works if it helps I made a big pot of chili well send put it in some of them takeaway containers put it in the post take the e-models it'll find its way uh, I th uh, though I would kill for some of pad thai never had it says uh, our model we have only recently had a Thai takeaway uh, in the town We've got everything out. Everything used to be either Indian or Chinese. And that was it. That's all you had around here. But recently, a tie's turned up. And it's quite refreshing. Nice to have a tie. Uh, Sarah's getting a wee bit tipsy. It's a safety measure as falling down. When you're tipsy, it means you don't hurt yourself. That's it. Yes. You carry on, Sarah. Remember, re remember the number for the takeaway. Get on, get on with it, because when you're tipsy, you need a takeaway. Uh, do the jacket spuds in the microwave saves a lot of time. It does, yeah. That was that was, I think the selling point of a microwave at one time, wasn't it? That you could do your baked potatoes in two minutes, where it take twenty four hours in the oven. Uh, yeah, oh, it did. Fox is now teasing us all about his uh, pad thai, flat noodles, meat, egg, and probably some other stuff. Uh, uh, Bin day in the black country tomorrow as well. And in Bren yeah, they, I think these bin men must have a pretty big round tomorrow. It's Bin day in Bedford too. <laughs> Athol says Ted I bet you went to grab a granny at the Black Wind dance hall on the Thursday when when in Aberdeen uh, yeah, well, it's night night for him anyway painkillers and coffee I can't remember the Black Wind dance hall 
but I do remember some of the pubs along the uh, the dockside. And if you uh, put pubs and dockside in the same sentence, it might conjure up in your mind some of the clientele that used to get into them. I won't. Uh, yeah, it's a family shop, so I won't uh, get uh, won't mention anything any further. Yep, yeah, so right, what time are we on? Oh, we're on about half past ten now. So it's, I've, and I've glued all the suspension bits on for the first half of the build. So, um, I don't think I'll start any more gluing at the moment. I'll just let these firm up and go hard. And then next week, we could probably start on something else. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you remember the pubs along the dockside, you were doing it wrong. We, we used to go into the pubs along the dockside. On our, oh, excuse me, we used to go into the pubs along the dockside on our way to work. Yeah, night shift. Yeah, we used to do night shift in Hall Russell, and I was a, just a young whippersnapper of a lad who had just come out of his time and was sent up to the uh, glorious parts of Aberdeen. Oh, yeah, it, amazing. Yes, it was an eye-opener. You'd be walking to work and some young lady would say, Excuse me, sir, have you got the time? Yeah, it's about half past nine. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that was it, yeah. It was certainly an eye-opener. But anyway... Uh, on, a, on another note, I think that this evening um, we've done a, enough building. Hopefully the stream has held up um, for the... <laughs> Half eleven here, Ted, says Grim. I think I'm a Malibu or two ahead of Sarah, Jane. Yeah, you two should uh, get uh, a live stream going yourselves and and keep up you can continue between yourselves as the night goes on yeah, swapping Malibu stories uh, but uh, for me I think it's the end of the night uh, I think it's the end of this live stream build we've got the tanky boaty boat tank tank boat whatever started um, yeah we've got it out of the box we've had a look at it and it is going to be a nice big beast to build and it's good luck it's good luck fab uh, but we'll leave that for now and we'll leave it till next week when we could do a bit more I'll have a look at the plans in the meantime just to make sure that um, I can have enough to do next week without actually sort of gluing two bits on and then not be able to go anywhere else uh, but um, once again thanks for everybody coming in and joining a lot uh, don't forget if you haven't subscribed before down here somewhere is the uh, subscribe button and over here I think even further over uh, uh, click the notification bell and give us a thumbs up as well because it all helps and uh, show your appreciation but anyway thank you very much for joining us tonight on this Wednesday night on the new build for the uh, Land Vasher Schlepper but until next week well, we'll do a little bit more about it uh, thanks for joining and we'll see you all next week and I'll probably say I think it's Sunday yeah Sunday it's Chris and myself two of us so once again two for the price of one so I'll see you on Sunday good night everybody thank you bye 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 bye